for the last decade, this has been the ugliest part of your smartphone. It's the reason that your phone wobbles on the table, and it's the design compromise that we've all learned to live with. But Samsung has been collaborating with some researchers at Postech, and they think that they have solved a physic problem that companies have been stuck on for years. By the time this new tech matures, it's going to do more than just flatten our phones. It's going to change everything. So let's start with the big one. The camera bump is dead. For years, to get a good photo, you needed a thick stack of curved glass lenses to focus light into a sensor. More quality meant more thickness. But Samsung's new tech, which is being called Meta Lens, throws the entire idea out. It replaces all of that curved glass with one single perfectly flat surface covered in a bunch of nanostructures. You can think of them like millions of microscopic pillars, each thinner than a human hair, and they bend light perfectly. This is the holy grail of industrial design. It means your phone can be uniformly thin and sleek, no more wobble, no more snagging on your pocket. It completely unshackles phone designers to create devices that look and feel like futuristic concepts that we've been seeing for years. Samsung and Postech figured out how to make these nanostructures shorter and more stable, reducing their aspect ratio from a fragile 1 to 10 to a more robust 1 to 5. And this was a key hurdle in stopping metal lenses from being mass produced. They actually cracked the code for manufacturing them reliably. But this is where it gets really crazy. It's not just going to be about making these phones thinner. The best part of this technology is actually what it enables next. The single biggest barrier to comfortable all day augmented reality glasses has been the weight and size. And that's been entirely driven by those bulky optics. This metal lens tech is the answer though. In their research, the team built an eye tracking camera for an XR headset that was 20% thinner than the older version. This is going to be the key to unlocking the mainstream augmented reality future. It means headsets and smart glasses will be lighter, more comfortable, and ultimately allowing them to look more stylish. Imagine glasses that feel like normal glasses, but they can overlay directions, notifications, and information onto the world. That future gets a lot closer because of this specific breakthrough. This is bigger than just the camera bump. It's about creating an entirely new category of device. By shrinking the entire optical system, you reduce the weight and volume of the headset, which is the most critical factor for any wearable technology. Lighter devices mean longer wear times and a much better user experience. Okay, it's mind blowing, right? The idea of this technology going from a research paper to our pockets is incredibly exciting. If you're getting hyped about this stuff, do me a favor and hit that like button as it tells YouTube that you're into deep cut tech and that really helps the channel out. So we have a thinner design and we've enabled future tech, but what about the camera quality itself? Surely a flat lens is a compromise, right? Well, that's actually wrong in this situation. This new metal lens doesn't just match the performance of old lenses. It's actually been proven to beat them. The team behind this research paper measured the optical performance using something called a modulation transfer function or MTF. In simple terms, it measures the image sharpness and contrast. A higher MTF score means your photos are sharper, clearer, 
and more detailed. And the new metal lens improved the MTF performance from around 50% to a whopping 72%. So you're not trading quality for thinness. You're actually getting both here. This precise arrangement of the nanostructures allows for a more accurate and more efficient control of light waves as they travel to the sensor that reduces errors and distortions that are common in traditional multi-lens systems. It's a more direct and more perfect path for the light to travel through. And finally, this all comes back to the core breakthrough that made it possible. The huge innovation, the detail from the Nature Communications paper was a new design principle. Previously, it was thought you needed to delay light by one full wavelength to focus it. But the Samsung POS Tech team proved that you could do it with just a two thirds wavelength delay. This is the secret sauce to what made this such an important discovery. It has allowed them to use the nanostructures that were wider and shorter, making them dramatically easier and cheaper to build without defects. It took metal lens from a cool lab experiment to a commercially viable product that can be mass produced for millions of Galaxy devices. By actually proving this new principle, they've unlocked a path to production that is more stable, has higher yields, and is more cost competitive. This was the moment the proven concept was actually put on the track to become technology with a viable future. I understand that this can be a lot to take in. I honestly don't fully grasp what makes a lot of this possible, but Samsung is on track to bringing another level of quality and realism to smartphone photography. And I can already see how it's going to make VR and AR experiences more comfortable. So please, Use the comment section down below to share your thoughts on this new innovation. Just don't forget to click on that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Android news analysis like this.